Hey everyone, welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World. It is your host Ryan. Hope you've been doing well. How do we follow up a country as big as Brazil? Uh, well, by talking about the British Virgin Islands, of course. Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues, heck yeah. There is one level to the BVI footballing pyramid. Yes, I'm going to be calling the British Virgin Islands BVI from now on. That one level consists of the BVI FA National Football League. There are 10 teams in this league. The season has started at various times over the last few years, but last season, the season lasted from February to September. Within the National Football League, teams play each other once before the top six teams move on to what is known as the Super Six. In the Super Six, each team again plays each other once until the top two teams face off in a championship final, which is a best of three format, which I believe is pretty unique to the footballing world. This means games can't end in ties, so for example, last year's first leg of the championship final between Sugar Boys and Lionheart went into penalties. Sugar Boys ended up winning Game 1 and Game 2, avoiding the need for a Game 3. This Super 6 and Championship Final format are pretty new to BBI football. There is no relegation from the National Football League. The winner of the Championship Final qualifies for the Caribbean Club Shield, also known as the CFU Club Shield. This is essentially the Caribbean equivalent of the Europa League. All teams in the National League are amateur. Besides the men's competition, there is also a women's National League within BVI, though very little is known about the modern iteration. At one time, there were at least four teams in the league, but it's unclear just how many exist today. The last update about the league was made on the BVI football website in June, where a seven-player Walloos FC women's team beat a 12-player Panthers FC 3-0. Besides the National League, there is also the President's Cup that was held in 2021, also known as the Clash of the Big Four. This was a single elimination cup competition between the top four teams from the 2019-2020 iteration of the National League. The year before last, there were two other cup competitions that were also played in the British Virgin Islands, but it's unclear if they are still around today. One of them was called the Terry Evans Cup, played between 10 teams in a single elimination format. 2019 was the first time since 2017 that the cup had been played, and the winner of the 2019 cup was Walloos FC. There was also a Men's Festival Cup in 2020 held between eight teams and played across three rounds. This competition was also single elimination and was won by Sugar Boys. Football in the BVI FA National League is played across three stadiums, according to my research. These grounds include Virgin Gorda Recreation Ground 1 in Spanish Town, the Territory's National Stadium, the A.O. Shirley Recreation Ground in Rogue Town, on the island of Tortula, capacity 3,000. And finally, there's the East End Stadium in Parham Town, also in Tortola. While these stadiums are small, they do have proper lighting, which allows for night games to be played. Teams within the National League all hail from just two of the territory's four main islands, Tortola and Virgin Gorda. These are also the two most populated islands within the British Virgin Islands. It's not clear when football was first introduced to the British Virgin Islands, but seeing as how it's been under British control since 1680, it probably didn't take long to spread to BVI once it became popular on the mainland. The first league in the territory was established in 1968 by Royal Engineers, and the first league winner that I'm aware of was the Bronze in 1970. By the way, this first league was only made up of teams within the island of Tortola. The British Virgin Islands Football Association was formed in 1974 and became a member of both CONCACAF and FIFA that same year. A league on Virgin Gorda started in 1996 before both leagues were combined, forming what is today the National League. The most successful team in the National League has been Islands FC of Tortola, who have won eight titles. The last National League title was won by Sugar Boys. Despite the uncertainty of COVID-19 and its effects on football across the world, the latest BVI FA National League is well underway as of February 2022. To the best of my knowledge, there aren't really any unique rules to players or teams within BVI. Since all teams and players are amateur, it's pretty much a free-for-all. Speaking of players... 
even though the BVI National League is amateur and its teams aren't very reputable, a number of foreign players can be found playing within the territory. Since BVI citizens are also citizens of England, we're not counting them as foreigners. However, the league is home to some players from neighboring Caribbean islands like Dominica and the U.S. Virgin Islands, which honestly shouldn't really count because they are next-door neighbors. There may be more foreign players, but I can't find anything reliable on updated team rosters. For those who can't go to games, incredibly, there is actually a place to watch full matches of certain BVI National League games. That place is called YouTube, and the channel is called BVI Football Association. I'm not sure if they do live streams, but as recently as last week, there was a two-hour match video between VG United and One Love United uploaded to the channel. The video, also surprisingly, is in full HD, though the lighting on the field is really bad and it makes it pretty hard to watch the match. Still, there is video proof that league football is played in the British Virgin Islands. If you know anywhere else to find highlights or live streams of the league, you know what to do. Leave a comment or a link below. Well, that's it for the British Virgin Islands. That was a quick one. Thanks for watching. Coming up next, we're going back to Asia. It is Brunei.